Man, I am so excited. Finally, I get to go to the beach. Been wanting to do this for a while. It's been cold. Now the weather's nice. Going to the beach, going to the beach. What do I need? Got my sunglasses. Check. Got my sunscreen. Check. I got my flip-flops. Check. And I need a ball. I need a ball. You have fun with a beach ball on the beach. Let's see here. Well, let's see here. It's not a beach ball, but... No, that's not going to work. Basketball? No. Tell you what. It's my exercise ball. Today it's a beach ball. Great shot. Okay, and what else do I need? Man, I tell you what. This is going to be great. We're talking about fun with a capital UN. So I've got, got my coat. i got to get my coat on. And, uh... I don't know, something don't feel quite right. Let me see here. Lose the coat. Oh, lose the coat. That makes sense. Let's take the coat off. Now that feels better. I'm ready to have some fun now. Now, now think about what just happened here. Uh, we're talking about the battlefield of the mind, and we're talking about how the devil throws thoughts against us, or he fires darts in our thoughts. And so we asked the question last time, well, how do we deal with these fiery thoughts? Darts. <laughs> well, the exact same way what we just did here is that this, when a thought doesn't seem to agree with the other thoughts, if something doesn't feel right about the thought, then what we have to do is to grab that thought and to replace it. Okay? Let me, let me share with you what the Word of God says about that. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verses 3 through 5. I'm going to read that for you. It says... For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Listen to verse 5. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. So what's that saying for us? The way that we deal with these thoughts that the enemy fires into our minds that, are, that don't agree with the word of God, we have to pull them down. And we have to replace those thoughts. Well, somebody said, okay, well, what do we replace, replace the thoughts with? We replace the thoughts with what God's Word says. Remember in Matthew chapter 4, Jesus, when he was led in the, of the Spirit into the wilderness, he was tempted 40 days and 40 nights. Afterwards, he was hungry, and the devil came to him and tempted him several times. But one of the temptations, he said, if you're the Son of God, then command these stones to be made bread. Well, how did Jesus respond? Jesus responded with what was written. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So we see his example for us in that when a wrong thought came up, something that was contrary to God's word, then he answered with what the word of God says. And he didn't just think it, he spoke what God's word says. We have to do the same thing. Okay? Praise the Lord. God bless you. And I'll see you on the next program. In Jesus' name, remember this, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood.